A lot of people think that when you radiometrically date a rock, you are somehow measuring its age. That isn't the case. The whole principle rests on the rate of change of radioactive species like uranium turning into lead. The rate of change will be known by what's known as the half-life. So what's actually being measured is the amount of uranium and the amount of lead in that particular rock. Then the age of the rock is calculated based on three assumptions. First, the scientists have to assume that all the lead in the rock came from uranium, that when the rock was originally made, there was no lead in the rock. How can they know that to be the case when they weren't there to see the rock being formed? Secondly, they have to assume that no lead has been washed into the rock or washed out of the rock during the supposed millions of years that the rock has been there. Once again, how can they be sure that's the case, especially considering that lead compounds are actually quite soluble in water? Thirdly, they have to assume that the half-life, which indicates the rate of change of uranium to lead, the half-life has never changed during the lifetime of the rock. But what's interesting is that even this last assumption has today been challenged, and there is considerable evidence now to suggest that the half-life of uranium and other radioactive species may have changed rapidly in the past. So you see, the age of the rock is not being measured. The amounts of uranium and lead are being measured and being measured very accurately. But the calculation of the age of the rock depends on assumptions which are unprovable and completely unproven.